time has finally come. I oh, know. Where should we go? We are back and we are in Kathmandu, Nepal. And it's now 30th birthday today, so please do wish him a happy birthday in the comments. And you're probably thinking, why are they in Nepal? Well, we'll get to that a bit later on in the video, but seeing as we're in the city of temples, we might as well go and see a few, hadn't we? Come on guys, let's go. So Kathmandu has a population of around 1.5 million people and he's also known as the gateway to the Himalayas. Thank you. So we made it to this place that I can't say. It's Monkey Temple, but you might be better at saying it. What's it called? Swayumbana Temple, that one. Yeah, that's what it's called, just there. <laughs> yeah, it's not Nepal's most popular one, is it? But it's for sure the one we wanted to come to. It's that iconic photo of the monkey and the temple when we were planning this trip i was like yeah that's our first stop for sure yeah you definitely wanted to do that one didn't you yeah it's uh, 200 rupees to come in the currency is very difficult but it's, it's about one pound 20 isn't it yeah oh. it's a little stripe up here <laughs> Yes. Hello. They look so clean. The place that we're in now is the sacred pilgrimage and it's home to hundreds of monkeys that apparently are Hindus and Buddhist and this is their home. What the monkeys are Hindus and yeah. Buddhists? Oh I never knew that. Every day is a school day. It is. It's a bit quieter than I expected up here. Oh no, I think all the noise is in that city. It is stunning now, isn't it? These Nepalese flags are everywhere and they symbolise prayer. And with the help of the wind, they help spread peace, compassion, strength and wisdom over the surrounding landscape. around this place it absolutely smells gorgeous bit of incense they're all lit everywhere and the smell is just really welcoming so if you come across this video because you're coming to nepal and you want to see monkeys be sure to check this place out because it's not like some of them places where it's like maybe you're guaranteed to see them they're everywhere aren't they they are absolutely swarming with them yeah they are So this little spot that we found here in the corner, we are just overlooking the city and it's nice and peaceful where we are now. And you can just about hear the hustle and bustle and everything that's going on in Kathmandu city. Talking of the hustle and bustle. Yeah. Should we go in the city now? Let's go in the city. Goodbye Monkey Temple. Yeah. Hello Tamil. So we're just in Tamil now and uh, as you can see it's a lot busier. <laughs> it's uh, supposed to be the main tourist area and uh, just for sure a lot more uh, Westerners, as we say. Yeah, there's a lot more Westerners in this part. I can't even explain how bonkers it is here right now. There's cars everywhere, bikes everywhere, push bikes everywhere, people everywhere. Everyone's in a massive brush. Everyone's so noisy. <laughs> I mean, I'm no BT engineer, but I'm pretty sure that those boys can't be safe. I mean, there's even a, like a CCTV wrapped up in all that nest. <laughs> just found a quiet little street in Tamil and just walking through. There's lots to see, but not a lot to see, if that makes sense. There's a lot to see if you're into shopping and you need all your trekking stuff. They've got loads of trekking shops. They've got loads of scarves and trousers and like proper... Fashion. Yeah, fashion. So this is what the fashion of Nepal is now. Well, of Kathmandu, I suppose. Before we come on our trip, we watch a lot of YouTube videos and everyone says that people don't bother you, but we like to keep it real on here, and they do. I mean, it is 
completely safe, isn't it? It feels safe. It's just, no, I don't want to buy a necklace. And if I want a taxi, I'll ask for a taxi. And if I want a meal, I'll go and have a meal. Yeah, I suppose you get it everywhere you go, yeah. don't you? But yeah, no, videos that we watched, it come across that that wasn't the case at all. But it is, you, you do get sort of hassled. Yeah, so we're going to get out of Tamil and find somewhere else because it's not for us. We're going to have to attempt to cross the road. No, now. let's cross it. For you, here, and what's that? The richest person in Kathmandu, what do they do? Uh, my horns. Oh, you know already. <laughs> Namaste, it's another glorious day in Kathmandu. Let's see what chaos today brings. We're just around the Juba Square area and it is absolutely chaotic, <laughs> but I love it. Adventures, you'd have an absolute field day here with all these pigeons. Thousands of the beauties. Which is the one? She's the one. I want to go before they shit on me. You seem to get pestered as soon as you get the camera out, so yeah. Yeah, look, all morning we've been fine, we've just been doing a bit of shopping, just a bit of chilling, no one's pestered us. We literally had the camera out two minutes and they're trying to sell us taxi rides and, and everything. They want to get in on the tubes, don't they? Yeah, join on the forwards bucket list, eh? The cutest little body warmer you ever did see. The architecture on that building behind me is amazing, but you can't really stop and look for too long because it is it is bonkers what are you up to Anne? just got myself a little outfit thank you and on that note, we're going to put the camera away and we'll catch up with you at the next spot. Look at that, it's the same colour as Claudia. Yeah, it is actually, isn't it? And talking to Claudia, we are going to the Van Life Festival in Shrewsbury. The Van Life Festival is from the 2nd to the 4th of June and we will be there. If you don't have your tickets already, we have a discount code for you, which is here. We'll put this code in the description to the video and if you haven't watched our Van Life Festival video already, take a look because we had such a blast, it's so good. So we both hope to see you there. Let's get back to Kathmandu. You'd all thought we'd forgotten about our girl Claudia. She's still going. We've come to this temple now and I'm not even going to attempt to say it. The, the name of it is here uh, and the tour guide has just come over to us and told us that the smoke over there, they're burning bodies and they burn 45 bodies a day. The Hindus and the Buddhists come here because um, they believe in reincarnation. They burn the bodies, cremate them and it goes into the river which leads to the Ganges. So very interesting and very different. Yeah, experiencing something like this at the moment, it's real. It's a real privilege, you know, it's something that we have never experienced before but it's very meaningful and holy to these people living here so it, it, what an experience the guide who works here as well he's just reassured us that, that people feel honored that westerners do come here um, to show respect and experience uh, this culture as well This place is the largest temple in the world. It is absolutely huge and it was first established in the 5th century. So on this site there's over 500 temples. Honestly, Kathmandu is just bonkers. Nothing, nothing surprises me anymore.
There's some deer. Some deer? Bambi. I never thought I'd see a deer and monkey in the same enclosure. That about ends our video here in Kathmandu. Thank you guys, you bunch of legends for watching. Yeah, and thank you, Han, for making my 30th birthday one to remember. It's been fantastic. You're welcome. But the adventure doesn't stop here. So if you've been watching our videos throughout last year, you'll probably remember us going on about doing a huge adventure for now 30th birthday. Well, it's time to let you guys know what we're up to. Any guesses seen as we're in the pool already? Well, here's a clue for you. In the morning, we're going to get on a teeny tiny plane and catch a short flight to the world's most dangerous airport, aka, AKA Lukla Airport. And when we land at Lukla, this begins our trek to every, every space camp. camp. <laughs> <laughs> As it is a gateway to the Everest region. So it takes eight days in total to trek to the base camp and then another four days to trek back down to Lukla where we started. In a nutshell, this will include hiking at high altitude, exploring the Himalayan villages, experiencing the Nepalese culture and so much more. After coming out the other side of this emotional roller coaster of a journey, we face ultimate highs and ultimate lows. And we'll bring you along with us so you can enjoy this every space camp trek from the comfort of your sofa. But buckle up because it's one hell of a bumpy ride. So we'll see you guys next time when we fly to the world's most dangerous airport. Bye! Bye.